On Wednesday, the Federal Reserve said the U.S. economy faced major challenges from the pandemic and doubled down on its pledge to take aggressive action to support an eventual recovery. And the Bank of England said the U.K. mortgage approvals bounced back in June. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be eyeing the German unemployment, their GDP and inflation rate, as well as the US GDP growth and China's NBS manufacturing PMI. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair, which found resistance at 76.6 last week and now is, could be in the process of forming a double top bearish reversal chart pattern. On the four hour chart, it has broken below the Ichimoku cloud and the future cloud appears bearish. The neckline of this potential double top is at 73, but that could be a long shot as the pair is lacking momentum right now. A safer bet for short sellers could be the 74 support level. Do you think the Aussie yen pair will find more bearish momentum on the Chinese data on Thursday? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.